Hello and welcome to the Spec B Bootloader Unlock Guide from the Windows 10 Mobile Group. When talking about bootloader unlock in Lumia devices, Windows Phone Internals is the tool everyone knows for that. This tool has a long run for years and now after numerous testings, it has now working unlock implementations to unlock almost every Lumia devices. But keep in mind that this tool only supports Nokia or Microsoft Lumia devices, any other non-Lumia devices are not supported by this tool. There are multiple benefits of bootloader unlock and to list some, you will be able to enable root access, you will also be able to access mass storage mode. And also since the bootloader security is turned off, you will be able to boot another OS or flash a pre-built custom FFU. But to be honest, these things are not very important for a normal user so unless you are power user type, you don't need to unlock bootloader of your device cause interop unlock is enough. When unlocking the bootloader, the OS version your phone currently utilizes is an important factor. So, make sure to take a note of these points to make sure you are on the safe side. Now, let's see which devices are supported for this guide. Since this is the Spec B Bootloader Unlock Guide, only the following devices are supported by this guide. If your Lumia device is among the list, you are good to go. Although, there is one Spec B device which isn't supported even though it's in the list, and that is the Microsoft Lumia 535. Due to the weak hardware, this device will not be able to perform the unlock and it will fail in mid-unlock. So, if you have this device, don't try this guide in it. Before proceeding, you will need to have Windows Device Recovery Tool installed as it contains most of the drivers needed. Download and install it in your PC, if you want, the link is in the description. Secondly, we will need the main tool for the job which is Windows Phone Internals. Download it from the official GitHub page. You can also download the tool from the Windows Universal tool as well. In order to unlock the bootloader, you will need to have a couple of files. The original full flash update package. Emergency files for your device. Additional donor full flash update package. The first and second files are identical for each device so you should always re-download them if you intended to unlock a different Lumia. So, let's get them downloaded for your Lumia. We will use Windows Phone Internals tool itself to download these. First, connect your Lumia to your PC. Then, open Windows Phone Internals. The home page will show the connected device details. Go to the download section from the left menus. There, scroll to the bottom of the page. You will see that the product type, product code and operator code is already filled, that is because it gets the values from the connected Lumia. Otherwise, you will have to fill them manually. Click search and wait. Once the files are shown in the table, click download all button next to search. Then, the files will start to download and you can monitor the progress from the top table. This path will be where the files are placed after the download, if you want to take a backup of the files, then you can go to that directory in File Explorer, do take note that this path is hidden by default. Here's the last download, Donor FFU. During the step before bootloader unlock in Windows Phone Internals where you are told to select the files needed, Windows Phone Internals may ask lastly for another FFU package with a supported OS version. This happens due to the original FFU package for your device doesn't have a supported OS version. To be more precise, this can happen for any device which isn't one of X50 Lumia devices. So, if your device isn't, then you better download this FFU package too. Here are the technical details of the package in case you want to download it using alternate methods such as Lumia firmware site. So, open Windows Phone internals in your PC and go to download section as before. But now, change the product type and product code to these values.
Leave the operator code box empty. Once you've filled in the values, click search and once it's shown, click on the FFU package and click download selected as we don't want the emergency files for that model. Monitor the download progress from the top table. Just like said before, you can access the downloaded package from this path if you want to back up it to anywhere else. Here are some alternate methods to download the FFU and emergency files for your Lumia apart from Windows Phone Internals method. Before attempting to unlock the bootloader, take a little time to go through with all these checks. These checks can be considered as mandatory due to their importance as failing to fulfill one of these can make the bootloader unlock fail and leave your device in a bricked state temporarily or permanently. The Disclaimer. If you are okay with it, then you are clear to proceed further. For the demonstration purpose, I have placed all three of the files in a folder in my desktop. The original FFU package and the emergency files of my device which is a Lumia 930 in this case. And the donor FFU package too. Since we are all set with files, let's go ahead and unlock the bootloader. Open Windows Phone Internals and connect your phone now. Then select Unlock Bootloader Entry from the left menu. It will ask the phone to be booted to the flash mode, click OK to the prompt. Your phone will reboot and will boot into a dim dark blue screen with two white arrows. And the Windows Phone internal screen will change to this screen where you need to select the files. Now, if you did download the files through Windows Phone internals as we showed before, these files will be already selected automatically. But to make it clear to those who have externally downloaded the files, I will show selecting the correct file for each selection manually. So, in the first selection which says, select your FFU image for profiling, choose the original FFU package of your device. In the second selection which says, select the EDE file for your phone, Choose the EDE emergency file of your device. You may have noticed that right after selecting original FFU, an additional selection appeared at the end. That is the selection for donor FFU package. So, in the last selection which says, select an FFU image with supported OS version, choose the downloaded donor FFU package. Now, all left to do is to click that unlock button. Since the procedure which is going to take place after that are unstoppable, make sure you are ready to unlock the bootloader, if not, click abort and try it in a different time. If you are ready, click the unlock button. The most important rule is never to disconnect the phone during the unlock unless you are told by the tool, interfering with the process can get your device bricked. If this is the very first time you are unlocking the phone, then this step will occur. In this step, the phone will reboot again and again, it's the normal behavior so don't get panic, just let it do it. How many attempts it may do depends on the device, it can go beyond 64 attempts too since that's not a fixed value. After the first flashing part, the device will then reboot and boot to mass storage mode to continue the unlock.
Now the device is half unlocked. To continue the unlock, do a soft reset as instructed by the tool. Keep pressing both volume down and power button until the device vibrates. There, second flashing is also done which means the device is now unlocked and your phone will now boot to Windows Phone now. You will get the unlock is successful prompt as soon as you are in the OS. So, that is how to unlock the Spec B Lumia bootloader. Here are some things you should not do after you unlock the bootloader, otherwise you will mess up the unlock which will produce unpleasant results. What is root access? It's an optional unlock which takes the advantage of bootloader unlock to apply some set of hacks into the device directly or indirectly. Due to these completely depends on the OS version the phone runs, you can't do it in any device you want. If you have one of these builds in your device, you can then freely enable root access. But before that, there is one little thing. It's not recommended to enable root access and keep it on forever due to security concerns, so once you make use of it, it's better to disable root access. Now that it's clear, let's see how to enable root access. So, connect your phone to the PC. Now go to manual mode section in left sidebar and then choose switch to mass storage mode. I'm sure you are aware that the bootloader must be unlocked prior to this. Once the device successfully boots into mass storage mode, go to enable root access entry in the left side menu. There click unlock phone under the enable root access directly on phone heading. Root access is successfully enabled. Now, the process is over. Only thing left to do is to reboot out from mass storage mode. To do that, you have to do a soft reset. That means keep holding both volume down and power buttons until the phone vibrates. Once you do that, your phone will boot back to Windows Phone OS. If you want to disable root access, you will just need to select disable root access section and follow the on-screen instructions, it will be very similar to enabling root. If you ever want to relock the bootloader for whatever reason, here's how to do it. Connect your phone and then click on the restore bootloader entry in the side menu. Click OK to the prompt asking the device to be rebooted to flash mode. Now, all you got to do is to click continue button. First, your phone will reboot to mass storage mode and then will undo the patches done. Then, it will ask you to do a soft reset. Keep holding volume down and power button until the device vibrates. Then a flashing will be done and your phone will automatically reboot and then boot back to Windows Phone OS. Once your device boots back, you will get the successful prompt. So, that is all to cover in this guide. Until we see you again in another video, goodbye.